This presentation is a part of Audio Adventure Theater. CTD Productions presents to you Winnie the Pooh, based on the books by A. A. Milne, starring Philip Teeson as Winnie the Pooh and Ray Teeson as the narrator. Episode number three: Woozles and Eeyore's Tale. The piglet lived in a very grand house in the middle of a beech tree, and the beech tree was in the middle of the forest, and the piglet lived in the middle of the house. Next to his house was a piece of broken board which had Trespassers W on it. What does it mean, piglet? It's my grandfather's name. It's been in the family for a long time. You can't be called Trespassers W. Yes, you can, because my grandfather was. And it's short for Trespassers Will, which is short for Trespassers William. My grandfather had two names in case he lost one. Trespassers after Nuggle and William after Trespassers. I've got two names. Well, there you are. That proves it. One fine winter's day when Piglet was brushing away the snow in front of his house, he happened to look up, and there was Winnie the Pooh. Pooh was walking round and round in a circle thinking of something else, and when Piglet called to him, he just went on walking. Hello, what are you doing? Hunting. Hunting what? Tracking something. Tracking what? That's just what I ask myself. I ask myself, what? What do you think you'll answer? I shall have to wait until I catch up with it. Now, look there on the ground. What do you see there? Tracks. Paw marks. Oh, Pooh, do you think it's a a, a, a woozle? It may be. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. You never can tell with paw marks. What's the matter? It's a very funny thing. But there seem to be two animals now. This whatever it was has been joined by another whatever it is. And the two of them are now proceeding in company. Would you mind coming with me, Piglet, in case they turn out to be hostile animals? I have nothing to do until Friday, and I'd be delighted to come, in case it really is a wizzle. Then let's be off. It seems as if the two woozles, if that is what they are, have been going round this small spinny of larch trees just here, so we had better follow them round it. You know, Pooh, my grandfather, Chesspresses W, had a remedy for removing stiffness after tracking. Oh, yes? We must try it, then. But in his later years, he suffered from shortness of breath. I wonder what a grandfather is like. Perhaps this is two grandfathers we're after right now. And if they are, I wonder whether I should be allowed to take one home and keep it. Look! What? The tracks. A third animal has joined the other two. Pooh, do you think it is another woozle? No. Because it makes different marks. It is either two woozles and one as it might be whizzle, or two as it might be whizzles and one, if so it is, woozle. Let us continue to follow them. I wish very much that my grandfather T.W. were here instead of elsewhere. How nice it would be if we met Christopher Robin suddenly, don't you think? Do you see, Piglet? Look at their tracks. Three as it were woozles and one as it were whizzle. 
Another woozle has joined them. I think, I think that I have just remembered something. I have just remembered something that I forgot to do yesterday and shan't be able to do tomorrow. So I suppose I really have to go back and do it now. We'll do it this afternoon and I'll come with you. It isn't the sort of thing that you can do in the afternoon. It's a very particular morning thing and has to be done in the morning. And if possible, between the hours of... What would you say the time was? About 12. Between, as I was saying, the hours of 12 and 12.5. So, really, dear old Pooh, if you'll excuse me... What's that? Oh, it's Christopher Robin up in that tree. Ah, then you'll be all right. You'll be quite safe with him. Goodbye. (sighs) So, you old bear, what were you doing? First you went round the spinning twice by yourself, and then Piglet ran after you, and you went around again together. And then you were just going around a fourth time... Wait a moment. Yes, my paw fits in the woozle tracks. I see now. I have been foolish and deluded, and I'm a bear of no brain at all. You're the best bear in all the world. Am I? Yes, you are. The old gray donkey, Eeyore, stood by himself in a thistly corner of the forest, his front feet well apart, his head on one side, and thought about things. Why, wherefore... Inasmuch as which. How do you do? And how are you? Not very how. I don't seem to have felt at all how for a long time. Dear, dear, I'm sorry about that. Let's have a look at you. Why, what's happened to your tail? What has happened to it? It isn't there. Are you sure? Well, either a tail is there, or it isn't there. You can't make a mistake about it. And yours isn't there. Then what is? Nothing. Let's have a look between my legs. Huh. I believe you're right. Of course I'm right. That accounts for a good deal. It explains everything. No wonder. You must have left it somewhere. Somebody must have taken it. How like them. Eeyore, I, Winnie the Pooh, will find your tail for you. Thank you, Pooh. You're a real friend. Not like some. So Winnie the Pooh went off to find Eeyore's tail. It was a fine spring morning in the forest as he started out. Through copse and spinney marched Bear, down open slopes of gorse and heather, over rocky beds of streams, up steep banks of sandstone into the heather again, and so at last, tired and hungry, to the Hundred Acre Wood. For it was in the Hundred Acre Wood that Owl lived. And if anyone knows anything about anything, it's Owl who knows something about something. Or my name's not Winnie the Pooh, which it is. So there you are. Owl lived at the Chestnuts, an old world residence of great charm, which was grander than anybody else's, or seemed so to bear, because it had both a knocker and a bell pull. Owl! I require an answer. It's Bear speaking. Hello, Pooh. How's things? Terrible and sad, because Eeyore, who is a friend of mine, has lost his tail, and he's moping about it. So could you very kindly tell me how to find it for him? Well, the customary procedure in such cases is as follows. What does crustimony proceed cake mean? For I am a bear of very little brain, and long words bother me. It means the thing to do. As long as it means that... I don't mind. The thing to do is as follows. First, issue a reward. Then... Just a moment. 
What do we do to this, what you were saying? You sneezed just as you were going to tell me. I didn't sneeze. Yes, you did, Owl. Excuse me, Pooh, I didn't. You can't sneeze without knowing it. Well, you can't know it without something having been sneezed. What I said was, first issue a reward. You're doing it again. A reward! We write a notice to say that we will give a large something to anybody who finds Eeyore's tail. I see, I see. Talking about large somethings, I generally have a small something about now. About this time in the morning, just a mouthful of condensed milk or whatnot with perhaps a lick of honey. Well, then, we write out this notice and we put it up all over the forest. A lick of honey or... Or as not, as the case may be. The person to write uh. this letter should be Christopher Robin. Yes, yes. It was he who wrote the ones on my front door for me. Did you see them, Pooh? No, not at all. Didn't you see them? Look at them now. Here's the one below the knocker. Please ring if an answer is required. And then to go with the bell pull. Please knock if an answer is not required. I seem to have seen that bell pull before. Handsome bell rope, isn't it? It reminds me of something, but I can't think what. Where did you get it? I just came across it in the forest. It was hanging over a bush, and I thought at first somebody lived there, so I rang it, and nothing happened. And then I rang it again very loudly, and it came off in my hand. And as nobody seemed to want it, I took it home, and... Owl, you made a mistake. Somebody did want it. Who? Eeyore. My dear friend Eeyore. He was... he was fond of it. Fond of it? Attached to it. So with these words, he unhooked it and carried it back to Eeyore. And when Christopher Robin had nailed it on in its right place again, Eeyore frisked about the forest waving his tail so happily that Winnie the Pooh came over all funny and had to hurry home for a little snack of something to sustain him. And wiping his mouth half an hour afterwards, he sang to himself proudly. Who found the tail? I said Pooh at a quarter to two. Only it was quarter to eleven, really. I found the tail. In Woozles and Eeyore's Tale by A. A. Milne, dramatized for audio by Caleb Teeson, you heard Philip Teeson as Winnie the Pooh, Ray Teeson as the narrator, Aaron Teeson as Christopher Robin, Reed Teeson as Piglet, Caleb Teeson as Eeyore, and Brent Carding as Owl. The audio adventure theater theme was composed by Garrett Vandenberg. The program was produced by Caleb Teeson. Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne is brought to you by CTD Productions. Be sure to check out our website at audioadventuretheater.blogspot.com.